everyone. In second grade, we're going to be creating Zentangle leaves with marker prints. So after you write your name and your classroom code, you're gonna be sharing this leaf stencil. And as long as it's placed on your page so that you can trace it, you can dive right in with your Sharpie, make sure that the cap is on the back. Now you might need a friend to help you. You might take turns. I'm gonna speed up and trace this leaf. All right, I'm done. Even though I made some mistakes, it still looks fantastic. I really like tracing organic shapes or drawing organic shapes because no matter how many mistakes you make, it still looks correct, even with all these little dots. Now, to create the Zentangles, I'm going to use my Sharpie and I'm gonna add some crisscross lines. You can decide where you'd like them to go. You want to think about Goldilocks. Not too many, not too few, but a just right amount. That should do it. And then inside each design, I'm going to add some patterns. Whenever I start making patterns, or zentangles as they're called, it's tough for me to come up with ideas. So I usually start by straight lines in one section, and then after I'm done, I'll add polka dots in the next. This is usually enough for me to start getting ideas, but any type of line or shape that you can repeat can become a pattern or zentangle. In fact, you can repeat different ones that you have already thought up in other sections. Let's see how many I can think of. We're going to focus on just filling in these zentangles. Sometimes in other projects I might ask you to fill them in with the Sharpie, but it's time to move on to the next step. Let me go grab the materials. I'm going to be making a marker print, which means I'm going to be stamping on some color onto my leaf. So for now I can set it aside. And the materials that I grabbed are a Ziploc bag, my markers, and a spritzer bottle or atomizer. Just a, any spray bottle will do though if you're at home. And I'm actually gonna just cover this um, Ziploc bag with my markers. I'm thinking about colors that blend well together. You could do all warm colors, all cool colors, or rainbow order. Those are gonna be your choices for today. I'm gonna stick with warm colors, colors that make you think of things like lava or fire or the sunshine. Don't worry too much about it being perfect. You're gonna notice it doesn't really stick on the Ziploc bag. So don't spend too much time. Don't try to make it perfect. No, you don't want too many scribbles. You want that Goldilocks coloring just right in the middle. Okay, try to go to the edges, but, well, you'll see what's happening next. Like I said before, it just doesn't need to be perfect. You might know that you can create watercolor paint from markers and water, so that's what we'll be doing and then stamping it onto our page. So I'm gonna open up this spritzer bottle and you don't need to oversaturate your paper. You wanna shoot for the four corners and the middle like this. But also, you don't wanna to be too low. You don't wanna be way up here. Always Goldilocks with this project, just right in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. And then if you're noticing that some parts have been missed, no pun intended, you can spray it just a little bit more. Okay, let me straighten it out and show you how to make this marker print. I'm gonna take my leaf, I'm gonna press it on, get my hands ready. I'm gonna smooth it out pretty quickly, kinda like I'm massaging my paper. Now a little always gets through, it always gets on my hands but it is washable, and the next time I use a restroom or see a sink, I can wash my own hands, but it's just a little bit of marker. It's not gonna hurt us. All right, let's see what it looks like. 
Wow. All of that marker transformed into paint and stamped onto my leaf print. Oh my gosh, it looks just like a real leaf that falls down off the trees in autumn. Now that it still has some water on it, I need to take this to the drying rack. So I'll make sure that I carry it flat with my thumbs on top. Otherwise, I'm going to have to share this with someone else who's been waiting their turn. And then I'll take this bag over to the sink so that I can rinse it out after school. Again, that's a marker print. You can do this with anything that you have at home too. Just a Ziploc bag and aluminum foil works well too. Any sort of spray bottle and some, some washable markers. Thanks so much for watching.